Uh, Michael Myers possibly returning to Toronto later this year for the Toronto International Film Festival, uh, better known as TIFF. Uh, I believe that's what it stands for. If that's not what TIFF stands for, go ahead and correct me down in the comment section below. Uh, but we know Halloween 2018 premiered at that festival back in 2018, a few weeks before it had its premiere back in the States. And that was a big event. That's what put the movie on the map. That's what got a lot of more people talking about it, in my honest opinion. Before that, there was excitement. But then once that movie got early word of mouth and it came out of that event with a 100 percent score on Rotten Tomatoes, which, of course, has declined since then, I believe now it's sitting in the mid 70s, probably close to 80 percent now. And it has like almost a solid six and a half out of ten on IMDb, which means a lot of people are going on there giving it astronomically lower scores than probably what that movie deserves. Halloween 2018 was by no means a perfect movie, but for what it was, it's one of the better sequels that we've gotten out of the bunch of horrible ones that we've consistently gotten. But going back to what I want to talk about, Halloween Kills, as we all know, is still aiming to come out this year. Jason Blum, he's still pushing for the movie to get released later this year. He's also still pushing uh for it to go to theaters now whether or not that'll actually end up happening is depending on this unfortunate pandemic that we are still always uh going to be it seems it's never going to end at any point but of course at some point this pandemic will either just become the new norm i i honestly feel like at some point we're going to just sit down and realize this is our new norm or hopefully things get better but at the rate we're going we can't afford to just stay in the position that we're in. I mean, when I say the position I'm talking about, not just the states, but the world in regards to shutting down everything, we, we can't afford to do that. We just can't. Uh, but getting back to what I want to talk about with Halloween Kills, the movie itself could, in fact, still have a chance to premiere later this year at that festival again because of the fact that the festival itself has not yet been canceled. That is still set to go on later this year in Toronto, in the Canada area. So my hope is that we'll actually get to see that happen again. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, just a lot of feature films get shown there. Hundreds of them. They're probably going to have a lower selection this year. I did some research looking up this festival and what they have going on this year to accommodate for the outbreak. It looks like they're going to be doing some things digitally and then some physical environment screenings for select movies perhaps halloween kills being one of them i don't think we'll get a, a digital screening of that from the toronto film festival i think that'll be a closed area screening for a select few audience members and i be, i'm piggyback piggybacking off of it from other channels of the fandom empire and dave mccray who have also talked about this gotten some messages from you guys telling me to do more halloween videos Nothing really is coming out, so I figure I give my thoughts on what those other two YouTube content creators have already given their thoughts on. So you can go ahead and check out Dave McCray and Fandom Empire if you want to as well, because they are very in the know with all things that comes to Michael Myers and the Halloween franchise, especially especially Fandom Empire recently. His channel has been going feel like it's been picking up a lot of steam thanks to his constant uploading of information regarding Halloween Kill. So I really appreciate you because I do watch your videos. I believe I am subscribed to you as well. So I really appreciate that. But again, going back to what I want to talk about, Halloween Kills being at the TIFF later this year. That would be awesome. Another home run, hopefully, if the movie gets early word of mouth praise. Something for people back in the States to look forward to. Uh, it's also going to be really interesting to see how this movie if it were to actually premiere at that festival who all would be in it in attendance i honestly feel like if things were different we'd have more people outside of just the, the select few that i'm thinking of i think dave mccray would show up possibly uh fandom empire i would definitely expect him to be out there i believe he's in the canada area as well but if the movie does premiere at tiff i think that would be another great spot for the halloween franchise It'd be another good way for this series to kind of just let you know if it's a good film if it gets early word of mouth praise let's let people back in the states know that you have something very exciting to look forward to the same way you did back in 2018 um i recall a few years ago i did a video on the reactions that came out of tiff for the 2018 film and that was one of my very first hot videos it got a, over a thousand views within mere hours of it being uploaded and i was really excited about that Everyone who watched that video was excited about all the excitement surrounding the early praise that came out of that festival and all of the positive positive feedback that was coming out about it. 
in, re in regards to the performances, the portrayal of Michael Myers, calling it the best sequel and the, the, the one true sequel. You know, some of the same things we've heard from the previous sequels like H2O and all these other things. But as as we all do as a fandom, we fanboy out and we get overly excited. Now, the 2018 film did live up to my expectations. It wasn't a horrible film. Of course, it could have been better. Any Halloween movie outside of the original, in my honest opinion, could be better. The 2018 film is no is no is is not absent from that. Uh, several things just didn't seem seem right with me in regards to some of the aspects of how Michael Myers was characterized. I appreciate what was given to us, but I still nothing can compare to the original. Nothing can compare to that John Carpenter classic. Halloween Kills getting its premiere back at the TIFF Festival this year would be a very good thing to see. Something that would allow, hopefully, some of you guys who are big diehard fans of the franchise to once again venture out to go see this movie if you're lucky to be one of the very select few in attendance to get inside and actually get a seat to sit down and watch the movie i feel like they would have a limited seating schedule for this with everything still going on and depending on what the climate of the pandemic is in a few coming months and i know a lot of people want this movie to come out in theaters later this year and i'm honestly hoping it does if it doesn't hopefully we can get something compromised for a vod release but at the same time i also want to share my thoughts on something i i don't think a lot of people are are considering halloween kills i wouldn't delay that till october 2021 i wouldn't do that i understand the idea of putting a halloween film out in october of course marketing makes the most sense marketing wise and it's the the generic route you would take for something like halloween michael myers yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but with halloween in set to come out october 2021 if if at all possible if things start looking on the up and up come the end of next end of this year if the film does get pulled from its october 16th release date put it out earlier in 2021 and then still have halloween ends come out in october of 2021 as well and again again that's an if possible if at all possible i realize that would be a lot of marketing and a lot of hard work that the studios and everyone involved with the project would have to be getting involved to and commit themselves to so most likely we won't see anything like that but i think that would be very awesome and if i had it if it was all in my hands, I would hopefully just shift the movie up a couple of months into early 2021, but still have Halloween ends come out later that same year in October again to have because I what from my understanding, Halloween kills. I'm expecting that to end on a cliffhanger. I feel like that would be very exciting to have a Halloween movie earlier in the year. You end it on a cliffhanger and then you have another Halloween movie to look forward to in a few coming months later that year in October versus having to wait another full year to find out what's going on with this cliffhanger. Uh, we don't want any Jeepers Creepers type of vibes here. We're waiting years and years and years and years to find out. It seems. <laughs> but yeah, those are my thoughts on what I think about the film possibly premiering at TIFF. It's always a possibility. Uh, whether or not it actually happens, that's going to be something to get announced in the coming weeks. They're going to, of course, announce what movies will get shown at this festival later this year, probably late in the summer, early early fall time. And it is possible that it will show at the TIFF Festival, given that this festival has not yet been canceled. And if I'm not mistaken, the movie was already set to premiere at the TIFF Festival. So if it actually is going to be going ahead with that, that would be very exciting, very uh good to know in regards to something that diehards will have to look forward to we have another opportunity to get a hopefully another well-received movie out of the tiff festival from the halloween franchise and what i honestly would just say to everybody who's doubting that this movie will come out if it gets pulled from tiff or no, no announcements come out regarding tiff then i would become a little bit skeptical but until then i'm remaining hopeful that we're going to get halloween kills this year because like i said the tiff festival they can announce they're, they're going to make announcements about which movies are going to be shown showing uh halloween kills again to my knowledge was set to be shown but with the pandemic that's now up in the air but hopefully everything goes as planned we'll get halloween kills this year but i'm going to remain hopeful i'm not going to give out hope until i see that it's not premiering at tiff then i'll start to have more doubts 
But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And do join that Facebook group down in the comment section below as well. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.